then I come out and I say what we're kicking. Okay. We that for the <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Mary Nkrumah. I am here with my daughter Daisy Roberts. And today we are going to prepare you granite soup which we are going to use um, chicken in making it, but you can use whatever meat you want. You can also make it um, vegan, vegetarian, as the way you want. So the ingredients we have here is very simple. You can easily find it, them in any grocery stores, very simple, and it, and it doesn't have so much ingredients that will make it too complicated. It's very, very simple. So here we have our peanuts, which we call it ground nut. Um, here I have um, ginger, um, garlic, and basil grind together. Like I said, some people will do it without basil, but I like basil in my stuff, so I have basil in here. Um, we have habanero here. Um, like I said also, when you are preparing it, you can prepare it the way you want it, whether to make it hot or not hot, it's up to you. Um, I also have aubergine here. Um, we have um, onions here, whole onions here, and uh, we have our chicken here. The chicken I am using today is the chicken leg that I cut into pieces. I take the skin off. Um, you can use any type or any part of chicken that you want. It's acceptable, you can use it. So I have here my chicken marinated already because I like my um, meat well marinated before I cook it. So the uh, ginger, garlic and basil that I grind together is the same I have on the chicken here and I add a little bit salt to it. So now we are going to start by um, um, cooking our meat. So we heat up our pan a bit. No oil added in this food that we are going to cook, okay? So I have my chicken in there. Perfect. And Daisy. Do you know that uh, peanut is a uh, peanut, um, which is what we call granite, is not originated in Africa? Well, then where is it from? Well, hmm. it's originated in um, South America. And then for some reason, it finds its way into Africa. And now most of the African countries is like their main, um, uh, their main source of making soups and stews, they use um, peanut, which in Africa we call it ground nut. And do you know the reason why we call it ground nut too? Because it grows in the ground. Exactly. It grows in the ground. And um, it's like um, um, the way when... The, um, you grow potatoes, when it's ready, it's all joined together in the roots, and then you shake the, uh, the sun off it, and then you wash it, and then you use it. That is the same way um, when the, you grow groundnuts or peanuts, that is the same way it is, okay? And normally, people think um, preparing this type of um, soup is a long process. It is, but you can have a way of um, making it so that um, it won't be a long process. Um, one thing is that when you prep ahead of time, like I have this, um, my ginger, garlic, and onion prepared already, you can do it like that and then um, put them in ice cubes and then freeze them. So whenever you need them, it's ready, it's there for you. And also, when some people are preparing this, they add the peanut paste, which is the granite paste. They add it direct to their 
egg soup. But I don't do it that way. I cook that separate a bit before I add it to my steamed chicken and stuff. Okay, so I have that one done here already. So I am just waiting for my meat to cook a little bit and then I'll add it to it, okay. So those peanuts or granites you see, I only use a cup and a half and then I mix it with water and I add a little bit paprika to it. That is why you see the color like that. When you have a taste of it, there is no, nothing sweet or anything in it. And when you are doing this type of soup, you use the unsweetened peanuts or granite paste, the smooth one, okay. So I have that there going. Can you stir it for me? Huh? You're doing a good job. Perfect. Okay, so now it's my peanut, it's really thick, super thick. I'm going to water it down a bit before I add it to the steamed chicken. But before then, I'm going to add these two whole onions to the soup, okay? <laughs> and my tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. Let me wash it a bit, please. So we add it to it to cook it down till it's soft. And I will take them out and then blend it and put them back in, okay? So that's our peanuts paste, that's the granite paste. So I'm going to water it down a bit. So with the soup, in some parts of African countries, they call it um, um, chicken peanut stew, or they, some call it domada, like um, uh, Gambia, they call it um, domada. So it depends on the meat you cook with. Um, if it's chicken, it's chicken domada. If it's beef, it's beef domada. Um, if it's also vegetarian, it's vegetarian peanut domada. And when it's vegetarian, you can add in squash, any choice of your vegetable, you can add it to it. You can add in potatoes, whatever you want. And some people, when they make it, when they make the soup, they make it thick right from the beginning. But like I said, I am from Ghana, so I am doing the way Ghanaians, we do it. Um, we make it a little bit lighter. And then the leftovers for the following day becomes thick. And we eat it with rice. Or you can eat it, boil the yam and eat it with. Or you can, like you can eat it with so many stuff. So. I like straining my peanut when I am using it, granite, granite paste when I am using it for my soup because I didn't make it myself, right? So um, I strain it before I use it.
And also, like, I don't want to have, like, chunky peanuts in it. And you know the peanuts here, yeah, sometimes when you buy, some says it has, uh, like, chunky ones and, you know. Thank you, hon. So now we give it a good stir. And then we are going to add our pepper to it. And then we leave it to boil. That's OK. You can leave it now. Whilst we are waiting on the soup, we are going to prepare um, what we call rice balls. Um, it's um, very simple. It's just you cook your rice into really soft, and then you mold it. You mash it up and mold it. And that is what we eat with this. Or you, um, you peel this, you boil it, and then you make fufu out of this. I use blender in making it at home. But normally, we have a mortar and pistol when it's done cooking you just pour it into the mortar and pistol and then you pound it till it becomes like paste we call it um yam fufu um nigerians call it pounded yam um in ghana you can eat it with this and actually where um granite grows very well in ghana this also grows very well there. So that is um, what like, they combine with when they make the soup, they have the yam fufu, or you can also just cook it like just potatoes and then you eat it with the soup when it's thick, okay. So now this is our rice. We are going to start cooking because it has to take a long time in cooking okay so this one too we will leave it to boil and then we leave it to simmer so with your rice balls when you are making like even rice it depends if you like salt you add salt if you don't like salt you don't like you don't add it to it like normally if i am making it home to eat because of my soup has salt in it i don't add salt to this <laughs> okay, now we are waiting for our soup to cook and also our rice to get I ready to for. Oh, yes. Are you going to eat this? Of course. Yay. Let's take our tomatoes and the peppers and then we grind them. Okay. I have a question. Yes. How long does this meal usually take? Um, it usually takes, um, if you want to go through the long process, it usually takes like almost two hours for everything to be ready. But if you want to go on the um, fast way, which means you do all of the prep before your cooking, it shouldn't take you um more than an hour for it to get ready Daisy. so like 45 minutes 50 minutes sort of 59 minutes yeah so what are we doing right now right now we are going to cook the uh, we are going to grind the the whole onions and peppers and tomatoes that we uh, we put in the soup we are now going to blend it and then pour it back into the soup. Okay. What, how much do you like this meal? Oh my gosh, Daisy, I was grown up on this meal. Mm. So I love it so, so much. Go. Let me continue. You want 
to um, grind it very fine, like puree it. That looks yummy, come. So we are pouring in the tomatoes, onions, and the pepper puree in there. You can use like chili um, powder, like cayenne powder that is already um, grind, but I like fresh stuff. Serving, how many people can you feed with just one normal serving? To serve this? Yeah. Just this like will serve um, more than five people. That is, they are going to have a big portions, Daisy. And sometimes too, when you are doing it, you can add tomato paste to it if you want, but like I said, I prefer using, if the fresh is there, why not? You can do it um, vegan, without meat. Peanut is full of protein. So you can just do it vegan. Just add in your vegetables. If you have potatoes or whatever, you chop them, you add them to it and you are good to go. So usually in, Ghanaian standard, um, this thick, it's okay. It's okay that we eat it with the omutuo, but in some country they make it more thicker than this because they eat it on a bed of rice, like rice, they put the sauce on it and then they eat it, so. So our rice is soft enough, so I'm going to um, press them, like mashing them together. The rice is ready? I told you. If you don't want to go up through all the struggle, you can just boil your rice and eat it with it. Um, how Hold do it. I start? I can't really start. Okay, let Mama do this. Aww. And um, Africa is really hot. Well, some part, but um, when we, as, well, Ghana, we eat our soups really hot. So like I finish, I dish it out. Um, and even we eat with our hands, but the soup is hot. <laughs> you will be sweating and eating it. When the food, the soup is cold, we don't like it, so. Thank you so, so much for watching us from Halifax Library. We had so, so, so much fun here cooking today. Thank you so, so much.